Hey Haunters, it's Liam, uh, here to show you the uh, DIY Geyser RGB uh, that I built the other day. Uh, I posted about it in Haunters Hangout and promised you guys I'd make a video, so um, here I am. Uh, hopefully this will be helpful, really straightforward. I'm sure that a few of you have figured it out just from seeing the picture that I posted. Um, but I figured I'd walk you through it. Um, again, super basic. Um, really all you need is the light, the fogger, uh, and some uh, DMX equipment, and that's about it. And so I'll show you all the stuff I have, show you how I did it, um, and you can do it yourself. So uh, started with uh, this guy. This is the uh, ultra <laughs> fancy YJ1500QZ uh, upshot fogger. I don't think you can actually even search for it with this. Um, I've tried and uh, you don't get a whole lot of hits. Just look for the upshot fogger on eBay. It should be like around a hundred bucks. Some of them are 60 bucks with $40 shipping. Um, some of them were just hundred bucks with free shipping. So whatever, you're gonna pay about the same no matter um, who you buy it from. Um, some ship faster than others. I think I actually got this shipped super fast, like within a few days. Some ship from China, but just, you know, pay attention to the shipping. But again, shouldn't pay more than a hundred bucks for this guy. Um, the other thing that is part of the equation is this. It's just a super basic um, RGB PAR lamp, DMX controlled uh, from Amazon. Again, just kind of a Chinese knockoff, whatever. I've been using these for a few years and um, they hold up surprisingly well. I've had a few die, but um, I think that one actually uh, was in a rainstorm last year, and I think that's why it died, um, which I, I think clearly would make sense. Um, so that's what this is. Um, again, like 20, 25 bucks on Amazon, um, right around there. And most of them, if they should be on Prime. So if you have Prime, you're good to go um, for free shipping, um, and you can probably have them tomorrow. Amazing, right? Um, by the way, this guy comes with his um, the hanger and uh, uh, these guys. Normally it's not like this. But basically, that's all it takes. Um, for the DMX portion, that's kind of a whole different story, but I'm assuming if you're gonna brave this, you're somewhat familiar with DMX. Um, this is the Acta dongle from Holiday Coro. Um, I had been using a, where'd that go? Uh, just a generic um, DMX dongle. Uh, again, from Amazon, this is like 35 bucks. I think this is like 50 bucks is shipping. Um, this one did work, uh, and then I upgraded Mac OS and found out that, well, after the, after I ordered this one, I found out the drivers uh, had been compromised. This one actually is working now too. So now I have two, not that it really helps, but um, this is really nice. I mean, it comes in a great enclosure, um, comes from a great company. Um, it's got great support, so. You know, if you want to spend the 50 bucks, um, that's it. This plugs into your USB port, plugs right in. You've got your three pin uh, DMX as well as the, uh, if you want to use the ethernet uh, DMX, you can do that too. And then all I have is my, uh, my two DMX cables. Um, one's going to go to the fogger and one's going to go to the light. And that's about that. Um, I'm running uh, QLC plus on my Mac um, for the controller portion. Um, you can, you know, use whatever DMX application you feel like using. Um, so here's what we do. So again, super basic. Um, this handle is held on by these nice little hex nuts. So all I did is I pulled these guys off. And so the nice thing about this is the hardware that you need, all of the hardware that you need is already here. Oh, I guess except for a, um, a uh, washer if you decide to use a washer, if you decide not to use the handle. So unscrew the handle, and again, all you, all you really need is um, a washer if you decide to use one, and if you decide not to use the handle, you kind of need one, not necessarily. Um, so now I've got these nice two pre-threaded holes at the top of my fogger um, that came from, of course, where those screws were in there. So all I'm going to do is just take the hanger for my for my lamp. Um, I had put the handle on before, and I don't think I'm going to because it kind of compromises the uh, the angle that the the lamp can actually aim. Um, and I had a washer around here somewhere. I 
I did. Hmm. Okay, you really don't need a washer. I'm going to say no, you don't need a washer. It's probably a good idea, but um, I have misplaced mine, so we're not going to use one. So, um, the other thing I wanted to mention is I had started by uh, mounting the hanger right here on the closer hole, um, but it doesn't necessarily work terribly well because the light sticks up a little bit over the fog nozzle. So I actually moved it over here and it seems to work pretty well. Um, just a little better. Um, and you still get the same effect. It still works great. So all I'm going to do is screw this guy back in um, with the hanger attached and I'll show you what this looks like in just a second here. So this is what I've got. So my fogger, uh, the hanger, and the screw. And they're all attached. And so now all I'm going to do is <clears throat> decide what channels I'm going to use for both the fogger and for the light. Um, the one thing I would mention is there is, um, unless I lost the manual, which I probably did, there's like zero documentation for this fogger for the DMX, but it's really straightforward. The dip switches are on the back. Um, set them appropriately and you're good to go. Um, same for the light. Um, the only thing about this particular light is uh, 10 is going to be on, and that's going to tell it that you want to uh, do DMX control. And um, then you set the rest of the switches um, accordingly. So from here, all I'm going to do is, oh, sorry, one more thing. I'm going to plug in my DMX cable first because it's a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to go in for this one because I'm going to go to my fogger first. So I'm going to go in, and then I'm going to plug this into the back of the fogger uh, in just a second here. This guy in. So now I can pretty much, like I was saying, you know, I can pretty much aim this light however I want to. Um, I'm going to kind of rotate it a little bit more toward the fog stream and tighten it up. Then, as I mentioned, <coughs> plug this guy into the back of the fogger, and and that's that. So, um, something else I mentioned, I I wrapped this cable up. I'm guessing that I'm probably asking for uh, interference, but uh, we'll <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, it hasn't given me trouble yet, but probably once I get more lights uh, plugged into the string, it's going to get a little. A little touchy so we'll figure something out I'll order a shorter cable or something this is like a 10 footer um, from here I'm actually going to take my other DMX cable and I'm going to go from the fogger to my active dongle plug this guy in again this is probably stuff you guys know if you're already doing DMX so uh, apologies and then I'm gonna plug this guy into my computer plug in my light and then plug in my fogger and turn him on. And so now this is about the extent of it. So you know certainly not as uh, as elegant as a uh, you know as the guys are where you wouldn't have all these extra cables and other junk hanging around but um, also a lot cheaper. So I'm going to launch QLC on my computer and I'll show you how this guy actually works. Alright, so now I've got uh, got everything plugged in, everything's attached, um, fogger's on and warmed up, light's ready to go and plugged in, um, computer's loaded up with uh, QLC, and I've set up just a few basic, um, basic scenes just for the fogger and the light. Um, there's like a blue strobe with fog, or solid blue with fog, there's basically just each of the different red, green, and blue um, strobe, fast strobe, slow strobe, solid, uh, with fog. So I'll just kind of like walk you through each one, I mean not all of them obviously, you don't need to see all of them, but um, 
Yeah, let's take a look. So here's a blue with fog. And I can basically, you know, uh, the way I've got it set up right now, I'm just turning it on and on, uh, on and off at the virtual console rather than actually playing through a show. Um, but yeah, I can choose you know, different options, like a red screen. So that's about the extent of it. So that's how I uh, built the DIY geyser. And um, yeah, I hope that's helpful. Hope you guys are able to uh, build one or, you know, five of your own. Um, yeah, excited that there was so much interest in this. So uh, yeah, happy haunting and we'll uh, talk to you guys again soon.